Which game reigns supreme? I know which one is better, but before we get started, comment which game you think is better, and more importantly, why? Let's rank these games point by point and tally up the winner at the end of this epic battle, starting with round one, which is cost. Population one is free, so obviously it wins this round. Not so fast. Even though Contractor Showdown has an upfront cost, nothing in-game costs real-world money. Contractors has tons of customization options, including scopes, gun sprays and skins, character skins, radio or mica skins, and it's all earned by playing the game. That free price tag on Population 1 seems like an automatic win, but the skins can get really pricey. Just to customize a few things, you can find yourself buying the game twice over. But nevertheless, none of Population 1's purchasables affect actual gameplay, whereas the purchasables and contractors do give you bonuses in some cases, like new sites. So who would win this round? I'm going to start off with a tie. Population 1 may be free, but you'll find yourself going broke much quicker if you actually want to enjoy new skins for your character and weapons. Now let's see who wins round 2. Maps. This was a tough one, considering that Contractors is still new. Population 1 has had plenty of time to create different maps, game modes, and options, but most people just play the standard classic map in Population 1. But if you don't like the Population 1 map, you can always build your own, a feature that Contractors doesn't have. But you know what Contractors does have? Size. Showdown may have less options, but its map is so much bigger. But some might not consider that better, so round two will have to be another tie. But don't worry, on this next round, we're about to see our first knockout. Round three is squads. When playing Showdown, it's extremely common to find the group that you want to do the next match with. First, you have to all agree that you want to play again. Y'all want to run it back? Then you have to leave the game. After that, you have to click on your menu on the friend tab. Then you click recent and add to the last two people that you played with as friends, and one of them might send you an invite to the game. It's a tedious process, especially with newcomers. Population 1 has a play again or play with full squad button. It's that easy. I mildly get why Showdown makes you go back to the base. It might be so you can decode chips or buy stuff, but honestly, it's not really necessary. I mean, I'll do all that later, after I've played several games. Population 1 makes it so much easier, not to mention the add as friend button is right there by their name as well, if you want to meet up in the future. This round, without a doubt, goes to Population 1. Round 4 is another knockout, weapons. Population 1 has great weapons like the CX-4 and the AWP and many others. The issue I have with Pop 1 is the lack of gun options. Yeah, Showdown has more guns, but that's not what I mean. Let's say you get the AKM in Population 1. It's fully automatic and very bad with recoil. The Showdown AKM has bad recoil too, but you can toggle it from fully automatic to single shot. And some guns will do single shot, fully automatic, or burst. Population 1 doesn't even give you this option. If you pick up a weapon and it's only got three round burst, that's all it's ever going to have. And you might pick up an FAL that could work as a sniper in Population 1, but you can't put a scope on it. In Contractors, you can pick up new sights or scopes or different strengths. This really adds some excitement to the scavenging at the beginning of the game. You can not only put on sights, but silencers, grips, and pendants. Population 1 only allows you to change the skin, which you'll likely need to purchase with real money to ever have enough Bureau Gold to afford it. So, sorry Population 1, Contractors wins this round. So far, the two games are tied, but we're about to see one of them take the lead. Round 5 is upgrades. The only in-game upgrade you can get in Population 1 are backpack upgrades and weapon upgrades. Each backpack you collect allows you to hold one more item in your pack. The weapons are simply either one you prefer or their higher caliber, rating from one star all the way to the very rare five star. You may play for months before you even hear of someone having a five star, let alone getting one yourself. The only way to get these upgrades is to find them in the map, on a person, or in the airdrop. Contractors not only has way more upgrades, but it has more ways of getting them. You can get suppressors, sight scopes, grips, rifle SMG or sniper extensions, armor extensions, not to mention pretty soon they'll be giving us cars to drive. But then you also have to consider how you get them. You can find them in the map, on a person, in an airdrop, or you can even get them by purchasing what you want from vending machines with in-game currency. There are three different types of machines. 
The red allows weapon purchases like scopes or suppressors. The purple gets you armor, backpack, or weapon extensions along with heals. And the blue gives you the ability to get insurance and to buy back a buddy, which isn't even in Population 1. So when it comes to upgrades, it's really no competition. Contractors is better. Round 6 is Solo Mode. This is an easy one. The Solo Mode in Population 1 sucks. Mainly because the last time I played, I'm 100% positive I was playing with only bots. They moved in sync, didn't socialize, and were severely easy. Population 1 solo mode is kinda dead, so Contractors wins this round without even explaining how awesome the solo mode is. I could go on all day about which game is better, but in the end it just adds up to the math. Contractors is up by 2, making it reign supreme in our epic battle of the best MetaQuest Battle Royale. But I'm gonna throw a curveball at you. Which game is better and which one I like better are actually not the same answer. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. I think it's clear when I'm playing Contractors that it is a better game. Not by much, but it just has more, and is still being developed to give us more, like cars that are coming soon. By the time you watch this video, they may already be here. Even though Contractor Showdown is the better game, I like Population 1 better. It's more simple, less stressful. I realize that it's just my opinion, which is why Population 1 did not win out in the end, just because I like it more. If you want more trustworthy, unbiased game reviews, subscribe and check out my links for discounts.